Alright everybody, so today I'm going to um, basically show you how to create your own custom plants in Vue. Uh, first I'll show you how to set the set up the leaf for your custom plant in Photoshop, and then I will show you in Vue how to attach that leaf to a plant and create your own custom plant from there. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want is a picture of a leaf, hopefully something kind of like this with a solid background that you can just you know key the color out of pretty quickly otherwise I mean you can use a plant or a, a leaf that's on a you know in its natural setting I guess but it's gonna be very difficult to um, key out properly for view so basically um, the next thing you're gonna want to do is open up that picture in Photoshop. Oh, I was in preview still. Okay, so you open it up in Photoshop. And now you've got your plant. First thing you want to go, or, oh, I cannot talk. The first thing you're going to want to do is key out this background so you can get an alpha channel, um, which you need for your view file. So if you have a solid background like me, you're going to take this eraser, go to the magic eraser tool by holding down on the eraser tool, and just clicking. And that will get rid of all of the white or the whatever solid color it is you have. And um, if you don't have a solid background, the only way you're going to be able to do this is if you use the quick selection tool or the polygon lasso tool or magnetic lasso tool or something to mask out your plant. Okay, so once you have uh, your plant separated from its background, then you're going to want to create a mask around it. And, you know, actually, if you weren't able to key out your background using the magic eraser tool, then uh, you'll have already had a mask, in which case you don't have to do the step that I just did a second ago. Anyway, once you have your um, leaf mask, right click and do save selection and just do new, you can name it whatever, and hit OK. And as you can see here on the channels tab, before there was only RGB, R, or red, green, blue, and there was no alpha. But now that we've created that new save selection, there is an alpha channel which is what we need for view. You know, we also need the RGB channels as well, but we need to make that alpha channel. So now that you've done that, just do save as, and you can save it as a TIFF if you want, it will work, uh, but I think it's easier to use a PNG. That's just me. So uh, then you just do, you know, you wouldn't get this, I've already done this, so I'm just going to replace it, hit OK, and then let's come over here to view. So in view, you're going to want to load a plant, so uh, just right click right here on this plant species area, and you can see uh, there's already a plant species that is this, and just for the sake of doing this quick, I'm going to use the Robinia, however you say this. Um, now you can do this with any plant, and if you do this with different plants, you can make your leaves look just fine. I just want to make this simple and get the concept across, so I'm going to use a very similar plant to the leaf that I have. So um, just click OK once you select a plant. Uh, maybe zoom in. A little bit so you can see the effects after you're done and there you go okay so once you've zoomed in you picked your plant then hit command E or control E if you're on a Windows to bring up the plant editor and once you're in the plant editor click on this little green leaf symbol and once you're here in the leaf editor of the plant editor then you're going to want to click this load picture button and when you're here then you click this browse file button and then you go to the desktop and then 
click your PNG file and hit open. And it always tells me this. I've never really had a problem with it, so I don't uh, choose to figure out or, you know, to do something about it. Um, anyway, so just hit, uh, you've got that in here. Now, if you notice before, the leaf was, this edge of the stem was actually up here, and the top of the leaf was actually down here. So to rotate this leaf, you just hit this 90 degree rotate clockwise button for both the color picture and the alpha picture and now you have your leaf the correct way and um, it should be noted this was kind of already on the hooking point of leaf on branch or basically where the, the branch the leaf would be on the branch here um, but if this little red dot is like way over here or something weird just take it, pull it up here to the end of your leaf, and then hit OK. And uh, something crazy happened. OK, it just loaded wrong. Sometimes that happens. I don't really know why. If it uh, does something weird like that to you, just change the length, and generally that fixes it. So, uh, now my leaf is in here. You'll notice, obviously, my leaf is pretty similar to the one that was just there. It is not the exact same leaf, but it's pretty similar. Again, this is just so that you guys get the concept, not so that I can create some miraculous leaf or plant. Um, so anyway, you've got your new plant. You can adjust the length and the width of the, the leaf, randomness of the leaves the flexibility, and uh, the curl, which is just kind of like that uh, curl down the center seam here. Uh, anyway, so once you have your leaf all set up, you can also, you know, change your trunk, which is this middle branch. You can uh, change the diameter to make it a little thinner in the middle. You can change its droopiness you can change its length, make it real tall, like a tree or something. It doesn't make any sense, but we'll go with it. Then you can change the branches, and um, you can make them long. You can basically do all the same stuff with the branches as the trunk, and you should just note that the branches are these, and the trunk is this middle center cylinder. And um, once you've done this, the next thing you're going to do is save this as a plant species. Now, I've had some trouble with this a couple times where I save my plant species into uh, what you will have as a default, as grasses and plants, and I cannot do this. And the reason that you might not be able to do this is because there's a uh, basically read only privileges for you on your computer and I think this is just set up by Eon by default whenever you install view so you can do this and you can do my underscore plant and save it however if you go back in here uh, hang on if you go back in here to load it uh, that's something I set up later. <laughs> I'll show you how to do it. You'll notice um, that your plant is probably not in here. Actually, it's going to be easier if I just show you this way. Grasses, plants. This is in alphabetical order. And my underscore plant does not exist. Why? Because if you click on new folder in here, it says this location is read only. Okay, that's a problem. So, um, basically what you can do is in your documents folder here, if you're on a Mac, I assume it's in the same place on a PC in your documents folder, you will find this Eon software folder and a View 10 Extreme folder, then your plants folder, and then what you can do is set up a folder that has read-write privileges by just right-clicking doing new folder, it, you know, type in your password. 
uh, landage. And, uh, you know, just to make sure you have read write privileges, you right click on the folder here, do that um, get info, and change sharing and permissions and make sure that says read and write for you. Um, there you go, now you have a read write folder that you can save your plants to. So then you'd go to plantage or whatever you named your folder and do my underscore plant. Save it. Hit, oh, it's gonna wait for a second. Now hit OK and now you have your plant and now if you ever wanted your plant again you just right click here and um, go to oh, I've set up so many folders recently uh, it's not going to show right now that folder you just made but if you exit out of view open view back up uh, and then look over here in your plant species selection you'll see the new folder you made and uh, I've actually recorded this video a couple times and screwed up twice some very little things so I went back and redid this but anyway uh, you won't see plantage but demo folder is the exact same thing with pretty much the exact same plant so you'd go to your folder you'd hit OK and that will load up your plant and there you go and now every time you left click here it'll make a new plant of yours but randomized like view does so you'll always get a unique version of your unique plant anyway that's everything for this uh, please let me know if there is a tutorial or something you'd like to see me do in view that you're interested in I know that a good majority of people that come to my channel either come here uh, for view tutorials or after effects tutorials mainly view tutorials so let me know I'd be happy to do a tutorial based on one of your requests I know quite a few things about the program so just let me know I'd like to help alright thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time